Extreme Rules just ended last night and Brock Lesnar is now the WWE Universal Champion. Heading into Monday Night Raw, there's a lot of different directions they could go, and I think this could possibly be one of the most intriguing stories that they could do in WWE in a long time if they choose to go down this path. We need to figure out how we're going to be booking SummerSlam. So opening up Monday Night Raw, there's many different directions that they could go here, but here's the way that I see it. Seth Rollins comes out. I deserve my WWE Universal Championship. I got screwed last night by Brock Lesnar unjustly. Brock, come out here right now, right here, and let's have a title match tonight. The problem is, Brock Lesnar is not in the building, and Baron Corbin comes out. Yo, Seth, why are you worried about the Universal title? Did you not see what I did to your girlfriend last night? Let's watch. He has a replay on the Tron. End of days over and over and over and over. Wow. You care more about the universal title than you do about your girlfriend? You know what? You want a match tonight? Me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, main event. And they have their match. That's set in stone. That main event is set in stone. Baron Corbin puts in the head that... Seth Rollins doesn't care about Becky Lynch as much as he cares about the universal title. And this is where that intriguing story comes in. If you're going to go off the, the girlfriend boyfriend thing with Seth and Becky, you got to go based off of this, right? Seth Rollins comes out, wants his universal title back. Baron comes out and says, you care more about the universal title than you care about Becky Lynch. Whew. All right. We're setting it up there. So at one point we'll cut backstage and Becky Lynch will be back there. And then who comes walking up is Paul Heyman. And Paul Heyman comes up to her and says, I saw what happened out there at the, the opening of the show. Your boyfriend, he, he doesn't care about you. He cares about one thing, and that's a universal title. If Seth cares about you, he should have protected you. But it doesn't look like he really does care about you. He says he does, but I don't believe it. So Becky Lynch now has this seed in her head that, oh my gosh, Seth Rollins might not really care about me as much as he cares about the title. And not to say that Becky is this damsel in distress role, but we could put her out there as that kind of role where she's kind of like, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't really know where this goes. The match happens. We have Baron Corbin, we have Seth Rollins. It's a normal match. Stuff goes down, whatever. Out comes Becky Lynch. And Becky Lynch, again, is questioning Seth Rollins. We could even have a segment before this where Becky Lynch goes up to Seth Rollins or Seth goes to Becky. She just says, I need some time to think, right? That's what I would do. So when does she decide to talk to him? And that is in the main event of the evening. Like, we need to talk right now. I've been thinking about this forever. We need to talk right now. And he's like, I got a match going on. And we need to. And she's like yelling at him outside the ring. Like, yo, we need to talk. This is not a thing. We need to talk. Boom. End of days. Seth is distracted. One, two, three. Baron Corman gets the win. Becky slides in, right? She slides in there. And she's like, ah. Ah, and she's, she's tending after a man. She's like, okay, maybe he didn't make a mistake. Maybe he didn't make a mistake here. And maybe it was just, you know, it was a problem. It, it wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I'm sure Seth Rollins really does care about me. So she's feeling for Seth after he got defeated by Baron Corbin. Distraction defeated. Boom, another end of days by Baron Corbin onto Becky Lynch. That's how you end Monday Night Raw. Oh my gosh, can you believe what we just saw? Maybe Seth Rollins wakes up. He tends to her and you're just like, what? 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 Then you have some interesting stuff going into the weeks leading up to SummerSlam. Now, the way that I see it is I know that this is not the ideal program, right? We have to put ourselves in a place where you have to get to Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins. But I don't think Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins is a one-on-one -on -one match. I think you carry Baron Corbin over into this thing uh, as much as you don't want to see that. I think we have a triple threat match at SummerSlam where we could have Baron Corbin, Seth Rollins, and Brock Lesnar, which would put Seth Rollins back against the wall. I'm going to think for some intriguing stuff here. Because what I really like about this story, the way that we planted the seed through, the way that we set this up, because this is only week one of this booking, and I think we could go a little further. I mean, I don't want to book it out day by day by day by day, but I think planting the seed here, where we're putting a wedge between Becky and Seth, where Seth is kind of drawn does he care more about his girlfriend or does he care more about his goals in the wwe universal championship and that's something that i think a lot of us can really get behind as far as the story goes as far as something very very deep and this is where you need to have that connection with people that people can understand what's going on because there's been a lot of times where you have to think 
do I take this career or do I think of my family? Do I do this or do I do that? It's like, I really love this girl, but I have this other opportunity here. And that's where Seth Rollins is kind of drawn. It feels like everybody can understand that. That's a story that everybody can understand and relate to. It's like, man, I love Becky Lynch, but I really want the universal title. And if Becky's going to understand this, she's got to know. And then that could get Becky twisted as well, where Becky's like focused on this. And then she has a challenger for her title. And then that could take her focus off of that. So you have both like a split thing here going on with Becky and Seth Rollins, where they're both kind of, their heads aren't in the game, right? Seth Rollins is in the right here. He wants his universal championship back because he feels that he was screwed out of it. I mean, he's done the exact same thing where he's cashed in and won the title. So he understands he's not mad at Brock Lesnar. He's just upset. And he really wants his championship back because he's worked so hard to get where he is. And now it slipped through his grasp here. So, this is something very intriguing where you can continue this if you're not going to have Brock Lesnar on television all the time, which is usually the case. I mean, maybe they could have Brock out there doing more fun stuff or whatever, but I think this will be something that will be very, very intriguing with Brock Lesnar. And then, you know, you could have Brock show up and be like, hey, Becky, you know what? I really would protect you. I have Paul Heyman. I would protect you. You know what? Come on my side. Come join Paul Heyman. We'll take care of you. And you could have this wedge draw. I know that, you know, we have this married man, Brock Lesnar, but they never really bring it up on TV or anything. So I think you could have some sort of storyline where, like, Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar are trying to get Becky Lynch on their side. They don't really want her. They don't really want her on her side. They really just want to drive a wedge in, in between both of them. And then, you know, Paul Heyman with this smart comment saying, you know what? She doesn't really... He, he Seth Rollins. He doesn't really care about you. He just he he just wants that appearance. He just wants that public appearance. He wants you to be his arm piece when he holds that WWE title. And then Becky Lynch can go. You know, I am an ass kicker, a last kicker. I am out here, not because I'm Seth Rollins' girlfriend, because I am the man. And maybe eventually she'll dump Seth Rollins. And then that could drive a little wedge there. And then Seth Rollins could have his mind, you know, a little bit split. I don't want to see the puppy dog Seth Rollins where he's begging for Becky back. But maybe a split's right there. And then that turns Seth Rollins into, all right, I'm focused on the universal title. That's where we go. So Becky splits with Seth, focuses on the title. Then they both are like, you know what? This is just a mutual thing here. We both agree that for our careers, it's better to let love go and then maybe we can come back later when we figure it all out. And what they could do is when both titles are not in the picture for Seth and Becky at one point, we could have them come back together. Because people love that. That's a that's a that's an age-old story, an age-old timeline, right? You have a love, you let it go, you see it years later, you connect. And that's a story that people I think could get behind because you, you just take, take stuff from movies and entertainment and pop culture and everything, and you go, okay. So this is something that I can get behind. So honestly, I think going into SummerSlam, you set up with the Baron Corbin, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins stuff. Uh, that's how you do it. You really drive a wedge between Becky and Seth where they're kind of torn on like, ah, e, I don't know. Does he care more about the universal title? Does he care about me? And Becky's also on the other end where she's like, I'm not going to be played a fool here. You know, if I'm going to be with Seth Rollins, he's got to protect me. But I can also protect myself. And that's where it goes down there. And you can just continue to have Baron Corbin be that despicable, disgusting human that he is by doing the end of days to Becky again and again and again and again and just attacking her over and over. And that just makes Seth Rollins mad. And what's going to happen here at SummerSlam is that Seth Rollins is going to be so focused on getting revenge on Baron Corbin where his mind is going to be lapsed from the Universal title. And he's just going to be trying to get after Baron Corbin. Brock Lesnar's going to be like, this is exactly what he wants. He's using Baron Corbin to get where he wants as, as driving that wedge in there with Paul Heyman saying, eh, maybe he doesn't care about you. So he's just playing off of that still going on. And then it gives him that, that edge there where it's like, okay, Seth is focused on Baron. I'm to focus on defending this title. They're doing their thing. I'm going to just get an easy victory here. And that's where Brock continues to have that victory there. So I think there's a lot of intriguing things to go out of here. I really like the wedge being drawn where Baron says it. Heyman says it. Maybe he cares more about the Universal title than he cares about you. I like it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about my version of booking SummerSlam 2019 and the Universal title. I think if you're 
going to continue with this Seth, Becky, Baron, Brock stuff. That makes the most sense to me. You got to go this way with the Seth caring more about the Universal title than he does about Becky. And then that's just something that we can all get behind. And, and I like it. And that's a not a boring love thing where it's like, ah, yeah, uh, their boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, this is like real life problems where it's like, hmm, I don't know. It's drama that needs to be added to the story, and I like it, so we'll see where they go with this. Anyway, guys, if you do enjoy this, make sure you smash that like button. We have more booking series coming up. I have a lot of great ideas coming forward. I don't know if we're going to do another bookie SummerSlam and pick another title to actually go towards that, but for now, we'll leave it at this. As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you in another video. <laughs>